Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ella, a first year medical student. So we have a few months left till exam season, especially for A-level students, with the first A-level exam being around 26th of May. And about now is the best time to start timetabling ourselves and preparing ourselves for revision time, making sure that we're ahead of the schedule. In this video, I'm going to talk about the different steps that you should take from now until exam time and the best way, the best efficient way of making sure that you're ahead of your schedule. So without any further ado, let's get started. <laughs> So the first main tip that I would say right now is the most important is to look at what your school is doing. Um, are your subjects ahead of schedule or on track or behind schedule? When I say ahead of schedule or on track, I would mean that you would finish your subject and all the topics and lessons at around end of February, mid of March max. This would be the best, most efficient time to finish so that you have a lot of time to revise and like, catch up. If you feel like your school is behind schedule, so they're going to finish like you know, mid-March is kind of late, um, end of March, then that's quite tight and you should right now look at how to perhaps get ahead of the schedule and teach yourself the lessons. If you think that your school is on track, it's fine, you're going to finish each subject at around the end of February, beginning of March, then it's fine, you can skip the section. But if you think that your school is a bit behind of track or you just want to go ahead and make sure that you're really secure, then I'm going to mention how to go about this. So first thing would be to look at the number of lessons you have. So I would recommend writing all the lessons that you haven't done in a spreadsheet and then looking at when is the due date that you want to finish them by so let's say you want to finish them by end of february last week of february you want to look at all the lessons that you have and just divide them literally simply into the weeks so for example you're going to have five lessons to do a week or six however many you have left in the curriculum to do in regards to teaching yourself the lessons it could be whatever method that you're comfortable with so perhaps watching youtube videos is going to be really helpful if you think that you need some sort of teacher to teach you if you think that you're okay with the textbook then just looking at the textbook making notes doing some practice questions to make sure they understood the concept making flashcards if you're the type to make flashcards making notes whatever way is suitable i would just suggest going ahead and making sure that you are on track it's also going to be really beneficial when you do the lesson with the school so for example if you've already done a certain lesson and then you go to school and just teaching the lesson you can use this time as a revision or reviewing period so it'd be like you've already done your second or your first revision of the lesson which is going to be really helpful i would definitely recommend this for more of like a um, secure feeling when you're preparing for a levels make sure that you're on track really you don't want to be stressed and question yourself oh is my school on track or is it not so i would recommend this if your school isn't behind or if you just want to have that extra security if your school is on track then as i said skip this section what if i find that it's now i have a few months four months left on my exams but i have a lot of topics uh, content that i haven't done from year 12 or from the beginning of year 13 i'm behind basically with being behind i know it can be stressful but we just follow the same method that we did so just put all the topics that you have that you're behind on and then just segment them into your weeks with a due date so make sure to push yourself now in these coming two months to really make sure that you're on track and you're on top of all your notes. Let's go on to section two. Now, you've finished the curriculum, okay? Either your school has finished it or you've done it yourself. Now is the time for reviewing and memorizing. So because you've already done your notes, now it's time to actually make sure that you've memorized your notes, that you have all the information ready. So this would be around March time, depends when you're finished. It could be around February, end of February, March. The way I tackle this is I made a spreadsheet or Excel spreadsheet of all the topics. Um, I also made it on Notion and then I would look at each topic and lessons, usually I would group the lessons into like one topic, then I made a study exam timetable. So the way that I did this timetable is, if we look right here, let's say that I have, so the subjects that I did were biology and um, chemistry and math, and we're going to say that I have topics 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in biology, topics 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in math. Uh, sorry, in chemistry and topics 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In math, same thing. Um, actually, for chemistry, what I did is I just did year 1 physical, year 2 physical, year 1 inorganic, year 2 inorganic, and year 1 organic and year 2 um, organic. So it was exactly six topics. Biology was more of just the topics, so like cell biology, um, but synthesis, respiration, that kind of stuff. And math, I also did the papers. So actually, math, it would usually be just 1, 2, 3, because it would be paper 1, paper 2, and paper 3 but you could split it into your one year two, whatever way works for you. And then what I do is I would have, and then I would do the weeks. So usually this would go until around three, four weeks before your exams. So in this, I would make sure that I'm memorizing and I have all the content 
finish and like you know I'm, I've memorized everything and I have everything in my memory so the way that I would do this is going through the notes doing stuff like flirting going through flashcards reading through the material I would do practice questions on each topic separately and then I would look at what I did wrong and go revise what I did wrong something that I also like to do is whenever I get something wrong I would write it down in a list and I've shown this in a previous video before but we're gonna look at it now again in the list I had a notes from test page and what this meant is every single time I did something wrong whether it be um, a silly point that I forgot or it's something that I always forget to mention or just an actual point um, or topic that I forgot I would just write it down in this long list and then it would just accumulate and after I finished the list and it became really close to my exams I made it into flashcards and I started doing them to revise them so it just made it that whenever I say an exam and I look at a question I would remember doing something similar and getting it wrong and it just helps so much in knowing what to put so going back to the timetable um, so let's say we have those topics right here that we've mentioned uh, I would just write it down and arrange it for example I would say that biology and chemistry are quite heavy subjects so I would want them on separate days well maths I don't mind if it goes on any with any subject so let's say I'm going to do let's say I'm going to do biology topic one and then biology topic two and then biology topic three and then four and then chemistry I would do the same thing I would say one two three four I would just separate them and then math I wouldn't mind so I would just put it together so I would just say one two three and maybe break one two three like so I also like having break days I think that's something really important for me so let's say Sunday is going to be a break day and just going like this I would do two week segments where every two weeks I would finish my curriculum so this would be just revi revising blurting memorizing like practice questions stuff like that and then I would go through two weeks again. It can be three weeks, it can be four weeks, whatever you feel like you're comfortable with. Um, especially with essay subjects, I know you can sometimes have a lot of like content and memorizing to do, so it might be a bit hard to do it. So I did my timetable in a very similar method. First of all, as you can see here, I had all my biology topics written down. Um, I had all my chemistry topics written down. I didn't have math written down because I just separated it by the papers, so it was fine. Um, and then I did the study. Um, this is very messy and it was just all over the place because I wrote it down on the paper as well. But as you can see here, I tried finishing the modules um, in every two weeks. So you have organic chemistry year one and then organic chemistry year two. So it would repeat every other Thursday. And it just went like this for um, around five weeks, I would say. I would just memorize like this and keep in mind that I had school at that time as well. So school was helping like memorize topics. They would give us like, revision sessions or they give us like just review sessions and review sessions now we're at the third stage we have three four weeks left until our exams what do we do now so after going through blurting memorizing flashcards that you've done at stage two now is the time to just literally focus on practice papers i would recommend whole papers so in this few weeks, I solely dedicated it to exam questions and just paper practice. I would set myself a very similar timetable as I've shown before, but it would just be practice questions instead of modules. It would just be biology, chemistry and math instead of like having lessons. And I would just do practice questions. So for example, every day I would set myself a paper to do or for each subject or two, two papers to do. And then with the papers, anything that I do wrong, I would write it down on the list I mentioned before. And I would also see any weak points. If I notice that there's a certain topic that I'm losing a lot of marks on, then I would make sure to focus on that topic and blurt a bit or like memorize a bit or look at the flashcards and make sure that I'm on top of myself with the knowledge. In terms of biology, I also did a lot of essays so with essays i didn't really write the whole essays i would just make mind maps and just have a clear idea of what i'm gonna say for a certain essay title what i also did was i would make a list of all the question papers that i did and then how well i did in them and this helped in just tracking my progress and seeing if i'm actually improving or if there's a certain topic that i'm struggling in in this period the amount of notebooks i went through is actually crazy it would be like a notebook a week and it was just ugh, it was um, a lot of writing this is how I did with the practice checklist. Um, again, just looking at the notes from test, this is really important. I would say that if you take anything from this video, I would just say take this, is that if you do any mistake that is recurring, make sure to write it down. It's so important and then make it into flashcards. <laughs> For biology, the websites that I used to get practice questions and like topic questions were Physics and Maths Tutor, MME Revise, and Study Mind. I'm gonna link them down in the description box. And for chemistry, I used A Level Chemistry, Chem Revise, and Physics and Maths Tutor again. Finally, for math, I used Physics and Maths Tutor, Revisely, Save My Exams, A Level Maths Revision, Maths Genie, and Study Mind. I'm gonna link all of these down in the description box. <laughs> 
Okay, now we have a few days left to the exam. So in those few days, I made sure to focus on the exam that I have and then just focus on the content itself and make sure I'm on track with all like the equation, just flashcards, going through my mistakes flashcards. I made sure to go through it every day to just remember all the mistakes I done and how to like avoid them. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing papers because I feel like the day before the exam or the days before the exam, you're going to be quite stressed. So it might mean that you end up doing bad in the paper and then that would stress you even more. And yeah, and just for the whole like three weeks of exams I would just um the few days before the exam focus on the content of the exam and that's it I would also recommend that during the weeks of exams to find times to relax and like just relax and have a break day it's really important because in exam season you can't just be stressing yourself out every single day 24 7 for three weeks you're gonna definitely burn out by the end so make sure that you're taking some relaxation time and um, make sure that you're also putting in break days in your schedules whether it be second stage or like first stage as we mentioned and that's it i hope you guys ace your exams and good luck i'm sure you all do well and if you have any other tips or things that you found really helpful when revising for mocks or for A levels, make sure to comment them down below. If you have any other video ideas, make sure to comment them down as well. And see you later. Make sure to like and subscribe and see ya. Bye.